Hey, what's going on, everyone? We're going to do a uh, driver's side door. And as you can see, there is numerous swirl marks, light scratches. And as we go through the whole door, you can see it as it is, um, you know, it, it's, it's even as bad as it is on the, uh, as in the uh, handle of the door and underneath the door. I mean, this is pretty bad. Um, I just want to do a quick video on a um, product I've been testing out. And I'm going to use this Just Car Correction Compound. Um, I have the perfect finish, which I might top it off with. But I just want to see how this correction compound works along my yellow Rupes pad. There's my eraser. Um, my, my yellow medium polishing pad. I'm sorry. Polishing pad. So, we're just going to dive on into it. We're going to work this combination and see how it works out. So, you know, of course you want to I want to make sure that uh, that the surface is clean. You know, you don't want to you don't want to start no job already on a dirty surface. The only thing you're gonna do is make it worse. So uh, I will. Car's been washed, deconned. It's been all of that. So as I pull in the garage, you know, I just want to double check and make sure this surface that I'm working on is clean. This is the procedure. I will use on the whole entire car you know it's it's a slow grind but you know you have to you have to take it you have to take these steps to get that job I mean get that finished so right now as you can see in the reflection of the car I'm applying my uh, my piece size drops on the pad as you can see right there um, as I probably look around like I'm always losing stuff. I'm going to use my Bigfoot. Uh, I don't know. This is the little tool that they give with the with the Rupes 15. And I just use this to work that product in the fibers of that pad. You know, you want to as it being a new pad, you want to ensure that, you know, you have product in all the fibers. That's my section I'm working. You know, I'm just going to work this section and I'm going to count the passes as I go, you know, as a fast forward, this is my first pass. The first pass was just smearing the product. So again, this is just using a polishing pad. I'm not even using a heavy aggressive pad. This is my second pass. And again, this is the step you use on the whole entire car. You know, some parts of the car might I can get away with using a smaller pad. So as I'm thinking, I'm on my fourth pass. I don't know, but I could be wrong. So again, I'm using a polishing wool Rupes pad, wool foam pad. The wool is backed behind a foam-like material. So again. I would say that's between five to six passes. Now with this being an older car, I'm not trying to remove all the defects. Um, customer's not asking for that. Customer just wants the car to look, the paint look a lot better than what it was. As you can see on that far right, you can see the swirl marks. You know, right there, you know, right there is, you know, a good, that's a good turnaround. And as you can see, as the camera, you know, cleans up a little, those marks are gone. And I and I and I explained to my customers with this procedure, I'm aiming to remove anywhere between forty to sixty percent. I mean, that section right there. I mean, I'm just gonna go. You know, I might pat myself on the back. As you can see, the side I did not touch. You know that's 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 close to 60 70 percent you know i'm i'm using a uh a high definition LED, led light and i'm not picking up anything and that's just off of using a polishing pad five to six passes granted it, it's going to take some time you know you're going to go through some pads but that's that's your result you do it right 
You do the same procedure every time. You're going to get the same results. All right, y'all. This is your boy from Lanier's Auto Detailing.